Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be using a couple of new products. The first two new products I'm going to be using is the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Foundation and Concealer. I did get the wrong shade, but I'm going to make it work. Um, and I also got the Maybelline Build a Brow. So I'm going to be trying those out today. And if my voice sounds weird and scratchy, it's because I was sick the other day. And I just feel like crap today, so I'm trying to do my makeup to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, I'm going to start off with my e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer, Lord. And I'm going to put some of this on. If you hear my dog whining, I'm sorry. He literally just woke up when I started this video. Rex! He usually sleeps to like... 9 30 10 o'clock but he's up right now so i'm gonna apply this make sure when you put this on is a nice even layer and um this will be the perfect base for our foundation and i like to make sure like i put it on fairly well because um spread it around well because um the first time i tried it i didn't and it was like peeling and stuff and it just looked so bad so i'm gonna let this like dry first before i put my foundation on but in the meantime i wanted to show you guys this shirt this is a new line of shirt it's my boyfriend and my brother's music group um I'm going to put their link down below if you want to hear their music. They have a YouTube channel with um, their music and stuff like that. So I'll put that on the link down below. And then also I have news. Um, me and my boyfriend are starting a new channel. It's called The Coffee Table where we're going to talk about just life experiences, things that's going on in the world, news, stuff like that. Um... And just giving our opinions on different things and just know they are just our opinions. They are not fact. Um, we are just, you know, talking and vibing. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be up pretty soon. Um, we already got the channel made. If you want to go look it up and subscribe, um, we are in the process of starting our first video. So it should be up pretty soon um well within the next week um so yeah if you guys want to follow that go follow it i'll put the link down below too okay so i'm gonna use my laura mercier foundation and and don't laugh at me because i got the wrong shade this is in the shade 3n1 buff and i mean it doesn't look that bad i don't think Maybe it does. I don't know. So I am going to blend this. No, it's pretty red. It's pretty orange. But the concealer will save it, I think. So this is like um, more my summer shade. I don't know why. I keep getting my summer shades and foundations lately. I was supposed to do my brows first. Okay. Well, I guess we're really testing this brow product because... I was supposed to do my brows first. The brow, the brow, build a brow, I like it um, so far, but this will be my first time doing it with my foundation on. So I'm pretty interested to see what's gonna happen there. And I'm gonna blend this down because I don't want the discoloration to be so obvious. And this foundation is so pretty. Like, it's so, so pretty. It's not my shade, though. But we're going to make it work. Okay, now I'm going to use the Real Flawless Concealer. And this is in 2 and 1 And this will save the look, I think. And the applicator on this is just like the Fenty Skin one. Um, not Fenty, uh, Fenty Beauty. So 
in there. A little here. I'm gonna blend. I'm gonna leave my under eye there for a minute. And my nose. Because I'm going to uh, contour. Of course, I'm contouring with my e.l.f. contour wand. Um, obsessed with this. I use it all the time. Um, I'm running out, actually, but I don't want to get another one. I want to try some uh, other products. Um, so if you guys recommend any contour sticks or powders or anything like that, please let me know. Okay, I look crazy, I look crazy. Okay. Blend this out. And like, if you ever feel like you're putting way too much or it's not your shade just add a little bit of foundation over it now I'm blending my forehead now ooh I don't know if you can see that but the concealer just straight up came off my nose this is the first time that happened, and I've used this just a couple times. Let's try this again. And I'm going to lightly tap it. So it doesn't disappear on me again. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to blend up my under eye. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this new channel. Um... And it's gonna be fun to do. We're gonna do it like when we can. It's not gonna be like a ridiculous, like, oh my God, we gotta post, you know? Um, but yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the channel and see, you know, what we talk about and stuff gonna be some pretty interesting conversations for sure I'm probably full of a lot of dad jokes because he's obsessed with dad jokes I don't like how my nose came out but I think I could fix it I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hands and I'm gonna get a small brush Now I'm going to put a little bit of concealer, wipe off that contour. That's the best I could do. I don't know what's going on with my nose right now, but. Um, okay, and now I'm going to put some powder. I'm gonna use my Cody Airspun. I ran out of all of my setting powders. So this is, that. this is the only one I have right now. I'm gonna set under my eyes first. And I have noticed like, I need to stop using setting spray at least like hydrating setting sprays because I guess because I'm getting older I have these like bag lines right here and I've noticed my makeup looks fine when I put powder and stuff on it but as soon as I um, spray setting spray you could see those lines like a lot and I kind of don't like how it looks so I'm gonna have to start going for the matte look um, because it's just not working for me and I'm just pressing this all, all over my face I'm gonna dust off the excess 
So now I am just going to dust off the excess. Looking good so far. Um, I need to drink my coffee. This is what my hand looks like. <laughs> Every time I do a makeup, I have makeup all over my hands. And then sometimes I forget I have it on and I'll go out and like, it's all over my hands. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use my Iconic London palette. I am obsessed with this. Um, it's a bronzer. Um, obsessed to the point I hit pan. This thing broke and I had to fix it. And I used it all. <laughs> I need more. Um, but I, I wanna try some other bronzers, you know? Like, I can't keep using the same stuff all the time. So if you guys know any bronzers, contours, blushes, anything, let me know because I need some new products. I got plenty of foundation concealer right now. Unless like a new crazy launch from like a big brand that I really like comes out, I'm not buying anymore because <laughs> I already got the Laura Mercier foundation. I got the Kylie Jenner foundation. I got the Kosas concealer, the Fenty Beauty concealer, the Laura Mercier concealer. That's enough. Like, Nah, I don't need any more of that. Okay, the bronze looks good. Look at that. And if you ever feel like you bronze too much, just put some powder on top. Blend it. I don't like how my nose came out. I suck at it. I swear. I suck at contouring my nose. Suck at it with passion. I don't know why. I'm going to use some Phase Zero Blush. Yes. Where's my blush brush? Where's my blush brush? Um... Here we go. So, oh. Um, what was I going to say? So I noticed like peachy colors are coming in. So if you want a nice peachy blush, this is the way to go. It has like a slight, very slight shimmer to it. And it smells like coconut. I think what girl doesn't want to smell like coconuts? Like she just came out, out of the islands. Like, for real. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now we're going to go into the build a brow. Now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is brush out my hair. Dust off any powder on there. Hopefully this doesn't ruin my hair. Pen. And I am going to just draw little brow hairs. And fill in my brows. And then I'm also going to use my spoolie to kind of make sure it blends well. And doesn't just look like straight up lines drawn in my brows. As you see, it could kind of look very drawn in. So when you brush through it, it kind of softens that. And it worked over powder and foundation. That's crazy. I really like this because I have a lot of like um, spots where like my hair does not grow anymore on my brows because of all the plucking that happened when I was younger. Um, so this really like really fills it in and makes it look really good. Okay, so now you use the other side is a stat sealing gel. So I guess it seals in the shade 
the color or whatever. I don't know. But just brush it through your brows, basically. Like how my brows came out. They look cute. I want to do like a purple eyeshadow to match my shirt. So I'm going to use my Lime Crime Venus 2 palette. This is a very old palette. I don't even know how I got this palette. Because I've never bought Lime Crime before. I'm pretty sure my mom gave me this. And I don't even know how she got it. Because she doesn't even know what Lime Crime is. My mom is still like CoverGirl Maybelline girl. Like. So yeah. This is what I'm going to be using. Dreamy in my crease. And I've actually had this palette for so long and never used it. Which is crazy. And look, the pigment's still there. The pigment is still there. This shit's old. It's pretty. I heard that um, JC Penny is carrying Lime Crime now. And um, what was that? What's that other brand? Is it Kimchi? I I could be saying it wrong. But it, they have a bunch of brands that like Sephora and Ulta doesn't have a lot of like um, smaller brands and I'm kind of interested like I want to go over there and see what they got. It would be cool if they had like if they made it into like another Sephora Ulta because I think that's such a smart idea to have small brands in a store like that because like just a store based on just i can't even talk just a store with small brands because a lot of these small brands don't get noticed you know because people don't really talk about them and if you if if they make a store of it then yeah more people are gonna hear about it and see it and like it and i'm going into bliss now a shade and i just think it's a really smart move for jc penny to do that because it's going to bring a lot of new customers into their stores a lot of customers that are like makeup obsessed and yeah i think it's a really smart move i also been hearing that kids are buying, like, drunk, is it drunk elephant? And all of this skincare that's, like, for, you know, older women, I don't understand. I guess, like, it's becoming, like, a thing on TikTok, and they're just trying to follow the trends, and I, I kind of get it. But this is also, but this is also, like, one of those times where the parent needs the parent. Like, the parents are the ones going in these stores and getting these things for their kids. And that's not okay. Like, at all. Like, this stuff is for older women. For their skin. For aging. For whatever. And these little kids are using it. And, I mean, I don't think it, it's going to affect them, no. But I do think they need to realize... They have, their skin is different, so they need different products for their skin. I'm gonna go into Beam, that's this shade right here. And I am going to, ooh, that's pretty. Apply this all over. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, why have I never used Lime Prime? Because what? That is beautiful. I like that. Okay, and now I'm going to use, I'm going to go back into Dreamy. And I am going to apply that underneath my eye. But yeah, I was really sick. Um, not last night, the night before. I had, um... A really bad migraine I'm pretty sure I had um, um, food poisoning and then yesterday I just felt really dehydrated and weak I drank a lot of water and didn't do much and then 
today like my throat still feels scratchy i still feel dehydrated so i figured you know like i'm gonna skip the gym today i'm going to try to make myself up make myself feel a little bit better and try to like get out of this funk because i don't want to be like this for the next couple days and like for me because i have like uh fibromyalgia and stuff like it's always a little harder for me to get back to normal again like it takes a couple days when i'm not feeling good oh i'm putting um beam underneath my eyes i'm just making a little glittery moment but yeah it just takes me a little bit longer to feel better and stuff so now i have this um gel eyeliner from langmani and i reviewed this in one of my videos i did um swatch test swatch swatch test so i'm gonna use this in my waterline i'm gonna put some mascara on i'm using my huda beauty um legit lashes i'm obsessed with this um this mascara between this one and the pat mcgrath are my two favorites right now i just finished my f proof mascara from jeffree star cosmetics that was that one had me on a chokehold seriously i really really like that one see like no mascara with mascara no mascara with mascara that's crazy right it's crazy and that's that's just the which side is this the volume side let's do let's do one side that's it and then compare so this is the volume side okay now i'm gonna do curl and length and apply this Does anybody else make weird faces when they put mascara on? Or is it just me? And look at the difference. No mascara with both sides of the legit lashes. Like, seriously? It's bomb. It's bomb. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like I got falsies on. I'm going back in with my volume one just to like... I got some mascara on the top of my eyelid, but that's okay. Um, if you ever get like mascara on your eyeshadow, wait for it to dry or on your face, wait for it to dry, grab a spoolie and just like knock it off with that. Um, but yeah, this is with the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes and without. I got, see, like I always... I always get mascara on the top of my lid. Like, how do y'all not? I don't understand. Absolutely love this mascara. Um, if you guys haven't tried it, try it. It's so good. I'm so sorry my voice is scratchy today. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorites. Um, it's between this, Pat McGrath. Um, what, which one is it? Pat McGrath. It's the gold one. I forgot what it's called. And um, the F Proof Mascara from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Those three are some of the best mascaras I've ever tried. Um, they all make me look like I have false lashes on. They're all really good. The Jeffree Star one is waterproof. Um, the other, the Pat McGrath and um, Huda Beauty is not. Um, and it's like a tubing mascara, so it's so easy to take off. It doesn't like leave all that that leftover mascara on your eyes and all that. It's really good. Okay, so now I am going to put my lip liner on. And this is one of the lip liners I reviewed on my channel before. It's Making Pretty. And this is in the shade 3. <laughs> me not knowing how to line my lip so when I line my lip I go a little bit underneath the actual lip line okay and the last thing is the Thrive Cosmetics 
um, in Glenda lip gloss and Glen the Thrive Cosmetics lip gloss in Glenda, and that is the look. How do you like the foundation? Foundation, I love the foundation and concealer. Yes, it's slightly not my shade, um, but I made it work. Um, this eyeshadow palette though, what? I really like it. The shimmery color, the shade um, Beam right here is so pretty. Um, really, the camera's not even doing it justice. It has this beautiful pink purple reflex on it. Um, the Huda Beauty mascara, you know, this is a staple. I literally have it on almost all my all my videos. Love this. Um, the Build a Brow, absolutely love. It's so good. It stays on all day. It doesn't look patchy. Um, I did buy the LA Girls one, and it does look patchy. It really patchy. The brow pen. This one, not patchy at all. Looks good. Looks like my natural brows. Um, I really, really like it. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to put on highlight. I'm gonna use my Jeffree Star <laughs> highlight, Lord. I did wanna have some highlight on today because I wanna be extra. So I'm gonna use sarcophagus <laughs> and mix it with legendary. I'm gonna mix those two. I never even used this one, the gold one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty. So now I am going to go in again and I'm going to highlight my nose. Are we still highlighting no our noses? I don't even know anymore. Y'all keep changing up the damn styles and shit. I went from clean girl makeup to mobster makeup. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all being good girls, bad girls. I don't even know. Okay. Yep, that's what it needed. That's what it needed. That is what it needed. Yes. Okay. Now I am done. Um, I am going to slightly set my face. I'm not going to drench it like I normally do. Um, because I'm scared that those lines are gonna show back up again, but I'm gonna go like far far away Like barely okay, that's good um, This is the LA girls setting spray um, I really like it. It's just like when I spray it too close to my face Which I usually do like I usually spray from here um and I usually like drench my face in it first. It leaves these, it makes my under eye bags like more noticeable and I don't like that. I'm getting older and I don't want my bags to show. So yeah, that is everything. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. My TikTok will be linked down below. My Instagram will be linked down below. Um, I'm trying to get enough um, TikTok followers so I could start going live on TikTok. Um, I also have the new channel, The Coffee Table, where we will discuss different topics and give advice. It is going to be me and my boyfriend. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Everything will be down below that I use. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, wait, no. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.